So what's up and what is good, YouTube? Come over here, give me some love, baby. I'm imagining that's your hand right now, but it's not. What is up and what is good, though? It is your host of the most, Paul Cantu, back at you guys with an unboxing video. Now, this most assuredly is not the video I wanted to release today, but due to the fact that I have high-quality videos in combination with very slow dial-up-esque internet, that the two are just not meshing and being cohesive together. You've got so me. right now, I'm actually just going to do a quick little unboxing to get some content out while the big flame video is going to drop tomorrow. Uh, but enough bitching. I've actually had this box for a super long time. I got it from a company that's called Streetwear Official. Now, this isn't any type of like sponsorship or like, hey guys, go buy this product. It is nothing like that. But basically, I got this box because I did an interview with them. The interview, however, never came out because the poor little chick who was interviewing me made me sound very illiterate and just misrepresented me in the interview. But with that being said, they were nice enough to actually send me a package anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and actually crack it open right now on camera. And yes, ever since I moved, I lost Henri, but I gained another one. So let's go ahead and uh, just chop a style this motherfucker. Boom! We got access, baby. All right, so getting the paper out the way. So I'm just gonna give an honest review. When I was browsing their site for some items I wanted, I was like, yo, a lot of this shit is like 2011 as fuck, outdated, but I managed to get a couple of semi-relevant pieces. These socks right here are definitely a few years old in terms of their style because they got the Givenchy little Rottweiler barking at you boys while these are on shin. So if you guys are playing soccer, you put these over your shin guards, you don't keep all them bitches away, all them ball stealing bitches. But either way, these are still pretty dope and of course, predominantly black, these will match with a lot and I figure why not have these underneath some jeans or some shit. So they have some nice little Givenchy Tripping. socks. Now the next piece they threw in, I don't even recall ordering, but it looks like it's just a streetwear official little team shirt right here, just like you're an employee or some shit. So I didn't order this, but it's kind of dope that they just threw that in anyways, streetwear official. The next piece they threw in is definitely dope. It is just a simple essential elongated tee right here. This was actually made in Mezco instead of China. So shout out to all my Mexicans out there. This is dope as fuck. Shout out to my dad, he's fucking Mexican. But yeah, this is sick as hell and uh, you know, just simple elongated all black on black baby. And then as DJ Khaled would say, we have another one. So I actually got two of these shirts because you never know when you're gonna need an essential tee. So I may go ahead and actually Yeezy season this shit the fuck up and just cut a bunch of little holes in it or distress it or do some crazy stuff. But two all black elongated tees are definitely an essential piece to have in any wardrobe. So that's why I went ahead and hit them with the simplicity. Cause that screen printing game was a little bit out there. What is going on? With that being said though, I did manage to pick up one piece that I thought was pretty damn dope. My homie Jacob Star has a shirt just like this. It says life after death. And then it says hustle daily, which I wish that was gone. And then it says hasta muerte. So this is pretty dope right there. I got the little angelic statue that has a line going through her head. RIP man, they defacing you like a motherfucker. And then right at the bottom, all embroidered, it says just hustle corny ass name like i don't know where brands like dope and just hustle get their names from like that shit is so corny like in a couple years the name dope all over shit is just gonna look fucking stupid so i i don't know where they get these names from but hey this shirt's still pretty clean i guess and then last but not least i got some straight stussy ripoff shorts right here <laughs> these are straight swagger jacking but i really like the amount of screen printing i do have to say the screens don't look like they are on super well you kind of can see through them a little bit so that's just a testament to the type of quality tie and that's why i'm not sitting here telling you guys yo go buy this shit but some of the items are decently okay but i mean look at this shit man they got the eight ball with the O5 five in it bruh it's like stussy and fubu collabs right there except this is neither of the brands but can you imagine though Stussy times FUBU? Oh man, I would cop that. Shut the fuck up, bitch! But either way, man, I'll get a lot of wear and tear out of these. They're just some really nice black shorts 
they have some pretty thick material. Actually, the material isn't as thick as I would want it to be, to be real. And it also doesn't have a fold over seam. So as you can tell, the bottom is just folding up. So the quality on these is absolutely terrible. But either way, man, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys a couple of items real quick and sexy today. Get you guys with a little bit of content real quick before the grail big ass fire video start dropping all over you guys like napalm in Vietnam. But continue to live the dream, eat vegan ice cream. I will catch you guys very, very soon. Like, comment, and subscribe. I have a bunch more videos coming up. Again, this isn't necessarily the video I wanted to drop today, but I just want to keep hitting you guys with some fresh ass content, and I needed to go ahead and unleash these imprisoned pieces from Cell Block Box. Peace out. I'll see y'all next time. Ah. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to